welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have we got this week? Jump to symbol. Jump okay. to symbol. So I'm going to bring up the setup wizard first. I just want to show you this. On the second page of the setup wizard is this option right here for binding keys on the numeric keypad uh, to different Code Rush features. And one of them is the num enter for jump to symbol. If you have a sure. new if you have a numeric keypad and you're not using those keys over there while you're coding, I recommend you select this option in the Code Rush setup. The default uh, shortcut is I think what is it, Rory? Control Shift Q. Yeah, Control Shift Q, which you know three keys, it, it it'll work, but it's quite awkward to get to. So if you do have the availability of your numeric keypad this is a great option to take, makes it a lot easier, just one button to hit. And a feature that I think you'll find you'll be using a lot. It's really good. And you can go into the Coder Shortcuts dialog if you want to rebind that, that, uh, that, that shortcut to another key other than uh, the defaults. Absolutely. So, so this feature is useful when I want to go uh, find a method in the code, uh, and I know a little bit about the method name. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I hit that key, and the jump to symbol menu pops up. And then I can start typing in uh, something that, that might be interesting. For example, here I've typed in uh, calc, right? And uh, I've got a number of different options you can see uh, that are here. And if I want to jump to a particular place, I can just hit enter on it. And uh, there I'm uh, right there and I've jumped to the beginning of that, that block of code right there. Um, I can also use it uh, uh, to find uh, a particular, um, oh, here, by the way, notice recent items here. So you can see some of the recent items that, Excellent. that I have yeah. uh, searched for in the past by bringing this up. Sorry, That's right, nice because you don't have to type the same thing again that you typed maybe five minutes ago when you were looking for something. You've, you've since moved away from it. Right. Um, this appears to be the case, by the way, if, if you're not highlighting something at the time, if you've not typed anything in, then it's just a kind of list of suggestions of things you might want because, of course, you have used these recently, and that makes sense. Yeah. So um, so, so that's uh, – hold on. Let me uh, – let's go back to where we were. Um, so, so let's say we're over here and we want to go find uh, – something that uh, we, we know its initials, its abbreviations, it's like calculate frame is what we want, something like that. Or maybe uh -huh. it's, so we'll type in CF like this. And there you can see there's some suggestions that come up there with things that start with a C and have an F in them as well. I, I don't have to make them uppercase like I did here. I can just type in CF and then maybe S for example. And there you can see it's found calculate frame size for me. Uh, and I have the two different types there that implement it. I can jump to uh, uh, whichever one is interesting to me and then and go there into that method. Um, the other thing I can do as well is if I'm on uh, a type I want to find or a method call I want to find, I can just hit that key, the, 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 uh, the num enter key or control shift Q, and the jump to symbol window will default with that text that's at the caret. If, if I've got sure. an identifier there. So here it's, nice. it defaulted to member access, which allows me to not only jump to the declaration of it, but uh, I can also uh, go to this method called get member access if I want to, or this uh, field that seems to be related called member access count. So I can jump to any one of those uh, very quickly and easily without having to type in uh, member access, for example, or copy it to the clipboard and pasting it. Um, Similarly, I can. Uh, similarly, if I come in here uh, and bring this up, I can filter. Let's say we'll we'll take this out and let's say we. I'm just going to type in add uh, like that, and you can see everything with the words add in it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to now filter this down. Let's say I want to find uh, only fields that are declared that uh, have this uh, word add in them. I can hit the tap the control key for options. Notice at the bottom here it says tap control for options. Okay. And uh, now I can just hit these bold letters to toggle on or off the things I don't want to see. So if I tap on the letter M, it'll toggle away all those methods. And now I'm left with uh, just a few things here. And uh, and now at this point I can say, oh, okay, the one I want to get to is uh, this field right here. And then I can sure. hit enter to jump to it. Now, I love this this whole set of features, Mark. This, this is a fantastic sort of um, group of features. I almost don't think of it as one feature because 
outside of this, you'd have had something like find in files, and that's pretty much a piece of text somewhere. It could be anywhere, and that's going to include comments, text files. Sure, you can narrow it down by file type and perhaps location as well, but you've got to redo that search each and every time. Whereas this is fully interactive. This is you can you can go exploring through your code without necessarily having to reach the end point, and you can decide right. Okay, so now I'm interested in fields and methods, but I don't care so much about classes. I want to do this project only, not the whole solution, and all of it just with a couple of keystrokes just to interact, and you see the results immediately. Then you find the item you want, you hit enter, and you're there. Yeah, It was just so simple. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, just a couple more things on this that I want to point out here. Um, if we go into jump to symbol here, notice our recent items are here, which include methods and properties. Um, mm -hmm. But if I type in ASB, which is the method I'm in, ASB, we would expect that to show up, right? But it says elements not found. And I wanted to show, show you this in case you encounter this after creating a filter. The reason ASB is not found as a method because our filter is persisted, right? So whatever options we selected, those are gonna be here the next time we bring this up. So sure. to see that method, I just wanna tap M uh, to bring those methods in there we can see it. I can tr tap control to hide the hint and uh, now use the up and down arrow keys to find the method I wanna get to and hit enter to jump to it. Very okay. nice. Um, one last thing I just remembered, so I said a few more things and there's one more thing I didn't show, <laughs> which is uh, uh, one of the nice features on this, let's go back in and we'll type in uh, uh, FSB, uh, or what is it? We'll do a CFS like that. There you can see calculate frame size. Um, one of the options that we can also do is we can come in here and display the data in a separate window. So we can come over here and hit this, and uh, and then we can see what's going on with regards to um, the things that are matching um, the the uh, the CFS. That's quite nice because it actually launches a new tab within that interface. This is the uh, show all references um, interface, and of course, with multiple tabs, you can search for multiple different things and do maybe a comparison between them if it's found. If you sorry, if you find that useful uh, in your particular scenario, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, well, that's Jump to Symbol. Thank you very much, Mark, for that wonderful explanation. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.